going on YouTube? Ronan Frog 87 here, guys. And now we're going to talk about another, you know, hot button topic in Yu-Gi-Oh! And that's cheating. It was just revealed, you know, a bunch of yu gi tubers have already talked about this today. Well, uh, some guy watched as Prague. There was a lot of instances, instances where he either, you know, unintentionally cheated or he just directly outright cheated. And that got me into thinking, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! in this game has always had a lot of cheaters, you know, you... You had this incident, and you had like you know Patrick Hoban, if you want to call it hit what he did with cheating, um, you know Peter Chang, you know they don't call him Cheater Chang for nothing, and then so many instances of cheating in this game that Konami really brings the ban hammer down to it, and on um, cheaters, you know they ban him for a long time. And what I want to know, what I want to ask is, you know, do you really have to be a pro? Do you have to cheat in order to be a pro at this game? You know forgot what pro said it but he basically said was it Hoban I forgot who it was but he basically said was that you know all the pros do it you know if you're not cheating you're not winning or something to that effect and that's kind of disheartening to think about because you know you look at sports and let's take in particular baseball where you know the whole steroids issue um you know remember, uh, some of you guys may be a little too young to remember this but back in the summer of 1998 you know, you had Sammy Sosa, you had Mark McGuire, they were going for the home run record, they were fighting each other, battling it out to see who would be home run king for that year, who was going to uh, break, you know, what was it, Roger Maris's record, or Babe Ruth, one of those guys, who was going to be their single home run record, you know, and everyone was excited, everyone was tuning in, and this is, baseball was like probably the most popular it had been in a while, because certainly it isn't right now, or not as such, not to the extent it was during that summer. And then, you know, a few years later, it turns out that they cheated. You know, Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire, they've admitted that they've used steroids. And it's forever tarnished that era of baseball. And do you guys kind of feel that way with Yu-Gi-Oh? Where, like, you know, obviously they don't use, you know, uh, steroids to to play better. Although they've had, but I, I, I do know that uh, some players do, you know, use you know drugs to you know calm themselves well, anyways that's a whole different topic but anyways um is it kind of the same where like you because some people really do look up to the pros in this game i'm not one of them i do admire some but i'm not like oh i don't put them on a pedestal but a lot of people do really look up to a lot of the pros in this game and you know when it turns out that they cheated or they got to the top by cheating you know it kind of like you know crashes their whole little yu gi -Oh world you know is it the same do you kind of feel the same um and then my other question you know like like um do you really have to cheat to be good at this game or be at the pro level because obviously there's a lot of good players that don't have to cheat to be good at this game but at the same time you know a lot of the top names like put them out there they've maybe they cheated or been associated with cheating or you know there's been accusations but at the same time, I like to think that, no, you don't really have to cheat. Because look at Jeff Jones. He's one of my favorite players of all time. Because he can just take a deck. He can take like a starter deck. And basically kick ass at it with it at a regional or a YCS. That's why he's one of my favorite players. He's so innovative. Maybe the decks he makes aren't completely original. But they're really innovative. They're really unconventional. And they're a lot of fun. And at the same time, it's also hilarious. Because when Jeff Jones ever gets his hands on a deck that was like, you know, not seen as tier one and he and he's really good with it then he like you know spikes up the prices of those cards the most recent with uh that phantom that one phantom knights card break sword i believe it was so yeah and then you look at billy break and then uh, so many other Yu-Gi-Oh pros who've never even been accused of cheating you know they're really good they've always been good you know they have long like billy break has a long Yu-Gi-Oh history career history career career <laughs> A really long history with Yu-Gi-Oh, and he's never—I don't think he's ever been accused of cheating. So, yeah, I mean, sir, you certainly have your people who cheat a lot, or your people who've you know gone playing this game without ever being caught, and then they finally get caught. And you do have your fair share of cheaters, but on the other hand, you have like your Jeff Jones and your Billy Briggs who've never even been accused of cheating, and who who play this game you know legit, and they're super successful. So I don't know. I want to know what you guys think. Your guys' thoughts about this down in the comment section below. And as always, I'm Ronan Frog 87 I bid you farewell. And I hope to see you guys next one. Oh, shit. <laughs>